Well, as you can see, Christina Griffins at Card Making Magic has been a busy woman, and Heidi has been having a wonderful time making projects using all of these, and I'm happy to share it with you. So, come play with us. Let's take that step by step. So this is going to be the Rose Flourish set. And you can see that it's going to create this beautiful spray, the individual flowers, and then also another little foliage piece, which is perfect. Now, Chris, now Heidi has done this with it. And isn't that pretty? This is Ruby Rose Paper Pack. And she used the silver metallic paper as accent and use those sprays and those flowers just beautifully. Now she began with a five by five uh, square card and then she cut another piece that would be five inches, matted and on the silver and did her embellishing. And I'm about to show that to you. On the inside, she also covered it with the same paper and left everything pretty flat, which is really nice. And then she brought in a corner of a uh, five by five square piece and also has that matted on the silver. So really pretty. Her dazzles are the 500 script dazzles, greeting dazzles. And as you know, they're just very, very useful. Of course, silver jewel dazzles are there. Now, let me show you what this cutting die will make. That's the spray. So you can use it as it is, or you can cut it apart, whichever way you like. Uh, she used it on the inside, just as it, as it comes. And this has been die cut out of craft cardstock. That's out of the brown cardstock set. Now the flowers look like this. So there are some full blossoms and there are also some partial blossoms. And then the other little spray is this one, just a really nice one to add. Now it's kind of hard to see in the card, but Heidi has it tucked right under the blossoms there and there. So just to add some additional foliage, okay? Now, you can leave the things flat as she did on the inside, but if you wanna take it one step further. Now, in the um, uh, list of materials, Heidi lists a uh, stylus, and we do have the stylus. It's an individual item. If you really wanna take it another step, we just got the Elizabeth Craft Shaping Pad and also the flower shaping toolkit. Look at this. Uh, Houston's been talking at our surgical toolkit and it's really a beautiful case. It's got this button clo snap closure and uh, you can just take out the um, circular styluses and it's just kind of an easy magic that happens. So you can see this flower that I once, that I've already played with and you can see the dimension that it has. So all I did was to turn it over and then on the leaf on the petals, just did like this and it's going to curve toward you. And it just takes a moment. It's really kind of surprising. And what it's doing is really stretching those paper fibers. Thank you, Houston. Get in nice and close. It's stretching those fibers so that it can um, Pull, it can curve. I'm going to turn it over and then I'm going to do the same thing in the center and you can see that it allows that flower to pull up. So super easy. Now you could use this by itself. You could put this in the center, maybe put foam tape and offset those blossoms. You can keep building if you want to. Now there are some blossoms that look like they're missing a petal. And what you can do with those is use the um, quarter inch super sticky tape, this is clear, and overlap those blossoms like so to create a really dimensional uh, petal grouping. So you can do that or you can just shape them and tuck them onto the flower to build it up and add the finished one on top. So lots of options. For that spray, you can do the exact same thing. And right here, you can see one of them that is curving. And same idea, all I did was to get in here and bring this, just kind of pet it, just stroke it a little bit, and that will give some dimension.
and this uh, cutting die already gives you the veins in the leaves, so that's a nice addition. So just really, really nice. So it was um, a nice coincidence that the Elizabeth Craft tools and the um, shaping mat came at the same time. Now you can use just a mouse pad, that will work too. So going back to our finished card, really, really lovely. Now we're going to move on, okay? So um, this is our next set, and this is the oval scrolls. And what Heidi did with this is to die cut out of our black suede. Now, you can see that that black is super saturated color, and it also has the addition of being pettable. Yes, it is. It's just really, uh, just a nice texture. They're eight and a half by 11 sheets, and uh, Heidi did this on the center step card, um, our most popular die cut card. Five cards, five envelopes come together. And you can see that she added um, the strips here, as well as the ovals, and kind of interlink them. And then also on the side. And then in the inside of this card, this technique. Now, she has mimicked what's on the package, and I think it's brilliant to do that. I just think it adds such a really nice finish very, very easily. Now she also um, used the oval die, as you can see, so that's in here. And just a really easy way to add interest and texture to your cards. Border dazzles down here, also uh, on the side here. I like that these are varying heights. Same thing with their ovals. It just makes it interesting and really nice. Also, at paperwishes.com, we've got some other projects using this particular set. Just wanted to make sure you see that. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next set, and it's this one. Now, on the package, it says ornate rectangle. But really, we really thought it had a lacy look to it. And there are 21 pieces, 21. Just an amazing number, especially for the price. And that's what we love from Card Making Magic. So let me show you what Heidi has done. And here is her first card. And let me take these out. Actually, I've got several out of the package. There you go. Okay, now the, I think the easiest way to show you this card is that by laying the cutting dies on top of it. So here is, la la la, there we go. Here is the largest cutting die. Now you might think that, guy, when you've got a die this giant, this long, can you really use it? Well, this is a perfect example. You can use pieces of it, or you can use it all together. Now, this makes that flourish around the edge, which I think was brilliant. You do want to cover your paper first before you die cut it. That way, you're just making one fell swoop. Works really nicely. Now, if you wanted to, you could have placed inside it this piece and have gotten a uh, another, oops, sorry. That's what I wanted. There we go. So it, you could have made a, um, a decorative uh, inner edge, which is what Heidi did on her second piece right here. So this was placed on the outside. Okay. Scoot that up. And then this, the same decorative edge, just smaller, was placed right here. So you see that you've got an outer design and an inner design. Really, really nice. So uh, again, she used the silver metallic paper. That is a 12 by 12 paper. Looks like that in its full form. Perfect for uh, die cutting. It is not a holographic. It's not a super you know, in your face silver. It's just a beautiful luster. And Heidi also used our Pattern Hearts embossing folder. And she did two of them on the silver and two of them out of white cardstock and put that in the middle. 
on the inside of her card. She's got more of them, and she used more of the dies from this package. As you can see, the, uh, the little notches out of it. And this is also stitched. So there's just a lot going on with this set of dies. Houston, can you get in closer and maybe see that stitching? There you go. Okay, perfect. There we go. So we can see that. So it just adds additional detail, and that's really nice to see. So you've got it on the front, uh, the shape of your card, as well as the inside. Now, with all of those cutting dies, there's more you can do. So Heidi has done yet another card. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, well, what did she use? Well, what she used were these cutting dies that make uh, this scalloped edge. So little guy right there and another one right here. And that, of course, is our llama dazzles. And this is with the um, country chic papers. And this is a gatefold. And so you can see, now one of the ovals is also out of this set. And again, it has the scallops. So scallops and fancy lacy borders are perfect with this cutting die. And again, 21 pieces, that's really sort of amazing. Now, the last one is this. And these are nested um, rectangular, so you can see all the rectangles. And there are 14 pieces in here. These two are stitched, but all of them are stitched. So let me show you Heidi's first card. This is uh, using the Seaside Revised and also our uh, 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 Seashells Dazzles. And you can see that she's backed it on the Seaside and on the gold. So Just Peachy is part of the Dazzle collection. The rectangles are right here. And on the inside, and again, we're gonna get in closer so you can see that stitching. How pretty is that? I thought it was really nice on the gatefold card that she put panels on each of the flaps, on the inside of those flaps, as well as, of course, covering the full back of it. So really nice, really pretty. And you can see on the front, she really has a large piece here that covers um, oh, two thirds of each of those flaps. So it just makes a beautiful look. Now, also wanting to give you another look. Here is this card from the color, Colorist. And um, it's got paper toll, it's got the papers. But if we get in closer, you can see again that stitching. Houston, you're doing really well, thank you. And you can see the rectangle here, 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 here. Just letting those layers really play. Now, Heidi added the thin line dazzles as an accent, which I think do a really nice job of adding a scalloped edge around those. On the inside, she's got more of them, two of them, and then also the, as I said, the thin line dazzles and the colorist dazzles leave, live each day to its fullest, words of wisdom. So as you can see, we are very excited by having these from Card Making Magic, the nested, the lacy, the oval swirls, as well as the Rose Flourish, a beautiful look. Heidi, as always, you did a great job, so appreciate it. For many of the pro products used, look down below, you'll see them. And if you're watching this on YouTube, or if you're watching it at paperwishes.com, be sure to check out the Money Saver. We always like to give you a little extra discount to make it uh, great so that you can do your creativity right away. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next Sunday.